Hello! Yes, two days in a row for um, milk nuggets. I got hungry. What can I say? It's been a while. I figure you deserve it. Um, Frank's hot sauce. And once again, I do have the, the nuggets from last time, which are delicious. But they're actually called chicken breast tenders. Difference? Not chicken breast nuggets. So, so juicy. And more of that vanilla chew moo milk. Oh, what is that taste? Whatever. It's good. Therefore, I eat it. So, um, as last time, last time I was mentioning how I was a little upset that Amazon didn't, I had to wait two days for, um, uh, Silent Hill. Well, it came today. Unfortunately, it doesn't have a, a cool reversible, you know, inside sheet. People are against us because, oh, Silent Hill can't be like that. It's bastardization. Yeah, weren't all the other Silent Hill games bastardizations? Because they all sucked. <laughs> but the main reason why I'm interested in this... Um, I don't know if it's blurry, too blurry. WayForward. WayForward made this game. WayForward is a great developer. I think they have another game coming out in November. It sounds about right. So that's pretty cool. That game should be cool. But I'm anxious for this. I haven't played it. I just put it in my Vita and make sure it was all up to date. Obviously I did. But problem solved. Woo! Oh, also a little uh, PSA. Best Buy seems to be bringing back their 100% um, trade-in on Sunday. That means you trade in a game at select stores. Go online to check which stores, because not all stores do it. They have a trade-in services, trade-in, you pick video games, and you pick a store. Like, my local stores don't do it. But anyways, 100% trade-in. Trade-in game, you get pretty much get double the price. That's what the 100% trade-in and it's sweet. And if you have a um, rewards program, a gamer rewards, you get bonus points for it, actually. You get uh, reward points for it. So that's pretty cool. Um, but also, this Sunday, um, Best Buy is bringing their buy two, get one free on games below $5.99 and below. Now, the reason why they did $5.99 and below, because that seems kind of odd. You're like, Really? A full price game below? That's because this Sunday, the almighty Skylanders Giants comes out. And if you don't have the first one, you'll need a portal, which means you have to buy the game at $75. So, but if you got in on uh, the game last year, portal owner's pack, that's only 60 bucks. So that qualifies. Now, just need two other games. And the question is, do you think Skylanders will sell out before Tuesday when, like, modern, the Warfighter game and Forza comes out? Are you willing to gamble? Those kids, they want their Skylanders. So, yeah, just the PSA is all about making sure you get Skylanders because it's a great game. It's really fun. Um... Trying to think of it as a kitty game. The PS, the console versions actually have um, a harder difficulty. You beat it and you unlock nightmare difficulty, which is supposed to be very, very challenging. So there's that. And then the 3DS version is like a platformer, old school platformer, like Spire on Crash Bandicoot. So there's there's some good goodness there. <laughs> The big topic on my mind, which probably is not for you guys, but they just announced, well, everybody's starting to announce how they're going to match online retailers for holiday pricing. Essentially, Best Buy first came out with that, did Target's like, yeah, we're doing it too. And they're going to price match online, mainly Amazon. Because in the past, they force you to go to stores and Amazon's like, 
Dude, we match all their prices because we're awesome. So buy from us, and you do. But now, Target and Best Buy are going to come back and go, yo, buy from us. You're going to be like, hmm, maybe. Maybe this is completely wrong, and that could be correct. That's completely wrong. But it almost seems like this competition could be good because everybody's fighting for a lower price, but everybody's price matching. Wouldn't, they, wouldn't somebody be like, you know, screw it. Everybody's going to be price matching. Everybody, why don't we just not put a huge sale like Assassin's Creed for 30 bucks? you know? Is it possible that the retailers will not lower the prices so great because everybody's going to be copying it anyways? They might not do as much business, but there's still going to be a load of games sold that day, regardless of if it's 30 or fifty dollars. If everybody's price matching, then I don't know, it'd be interesting. But competition is usually best, so it's good for the consumer, right? So maybe that that's something. I just don't know. I guess I can't be an analyst. Analyst can't be like that guy. But it'll be interesting to see. Of course. Last time I tried to buy a certain way for a game that's coming out in November on Target's website for 20 bucks because they listed that and they canceled my order. So why would I order online with them for games of really good prices if they're just going to cancel my order? Why? Can you answer me that, Target? Wouldn't that suck if you ordered all these Black Friday deals and then they canceled it because of whatever reason? Then you're just screwed and you missed out on the deal. Yeah. That only, I mean, there's no incentive for me to shopping at Target because Amazon gives me free shipping. Best Buy gives me free shipping and reward points. Re Target gets me... Cancelled orders. I guess this debate isn't this uh, topic isn't difficult at all. Screw you, Target. Best Buy, Amazon, bring it on. Oh wait, one more juicy chicken breast tender nugget left. Mm, delicious. Um.